It seemed as though when Sony had announced their new PSP2, also known as the NGP, not only were we going to get a next generation portable, but it seemed as though the next generation Sony fanboys have come out of hiding, and they're just as prepubescent and annoying as ever, as you're going to see in this commentary. But, and as for a shout out, this video was sent to me was a request from Zelda Fanboy 23 Iffy, uh, one of my subscribers, and just to summarize this commentary, essentially this kid you're going to see is one of these next gen Sony fanboys. He's trying to explain why the 3 why the PSP2 is better than the 3DS. And honestly, his logic is worse than Zamato Elites, and that's saying something. But enough of me talking, let's just watch the video. What's up, girls? Sorry dude, this isn't a harem, even though you'd probably like it to be one. But your audience, or rather the entire population of the internet, is not comprised of girls. But I'll give you props for being the first of your kind to actually admit that girls do exist on the internet. Today I'm going to tell you all why PSP2 is better than 3DS. Now before I actually let this video go further, I hope that most people watching this understand that the NGP has yet to actually come out. So essentially, with that said, much of his argument is already pretty voided because you haven't been able to play with the with the PSP2 yet, so you really can't yet say it's better than the 3DS. Now to start off, PSP2 has two analog sticks. Sticks. What? what? That, that, that's it? That's how you're going to start it off with? That the NGP has two analog sticks, so that's what makes it better than the 3DS? Uh, an add-on to the way you play it isn't much of a superiority. Uh, so, where are you getting at with this? Just because it has a second analog stick? But, anyway, continue. Not that crappy nub crap, you know. 3DS only has one nub. I remember there was a time when Sony fanboys were actually defending the uh, analog pad that the uh, PS original PSP had, and essentially that was a nub, because it... Even I don't like it. I, I've been playing the PSP more than I've been playing my DS lately, and I don't like it. It's too stiff, and it's just really hard to move when it allows you to move the characters. And because some of my friends have bigger fingers, it's harder to control. It's harder to use, and sometimes it breaks off. The 3DS's quote-unquote nub, or rather its analog pad, is bigger, and it mo I've used the 3DS. I don't have one, but I've played with it. And it moves a lot smoother than the one on the original PSP. So technically, it's not crappy. You should probably do your research first. Okay. And have you seen the graphics on the PSP too? And now cue the typical comments of a graphics whore that most Sony and Xbox fanboys are. It's a portable PS3. It's insane. Okay, yes. The PSP2 does have HD graphics just like the PS3. And its processor is, well as powerful as the PS3. But, to be freaking honest though, HD graphics on a portable can be good and bad at the same time, because HD graphics on the right TV really brings it out, but on a 5-6 inch screen, I don't know how big the PSP2's screen is, sometimes you really can't tell the difference between standard graphics and HD graphics. Uh, it's just simple, in my mind, at least that's how I see it. But sure, HD graphics on a portable, it's a, it's a pretty big step. And it's gonna PSP2 is gonna take back you know all those developers at E3 that were supporting the 3DS you know. But it wasn't the graphics of the 3DS that the people at E3 were interested in. It was the fact that the 3DS is a portable console with 3D capabilities, and no glasses needed. That's the reason, not the graphics. Oh, uh, Epic Games and crap like that. Epic Games can't develop for the 3DS. You know why? Because the graphics are terrible. That statement made, made just about as much sense as Zamato Elite's statements in all his videos. Just because the 3DS doesn't have graphics as that of the PSP2 doesn't mean developers are just going to quit and go away. They're still going to make games for it. They're just going to work around the graphics capabilities. It's not really that big a deal of graphics. Graphics don't make the game. It's a whole host of things that make the game. It's just Wii graphics at the most, you know. Wii graphics on a portable actually seem pretty good in my opinion, though, because, what, uh, it, the Wii is like that of PS2 graphics, sort of? And the PS2 was had pretty good graphics. Putting that on a portable, and especially on the DS, that's a pretty big jump. 
I mean, sure, the PSP2 still has HD graphics though, but Wii graphics on a portable that has only like a 5 inch screen, that's pretty good. And for like the whole screen size thing, refer back to one of my past comments. I'm saying, and that's, that's, that's not even good, dude. Why else is the PSP2 better than the 3DS? I forgot to mention, there's going to be a lot of long pauses in this video. Dude, seriously, didn't you at least write a script or go over your thoughts to yourself? Because if you're asking yourself why, what other reasons are there, it kind of shows really poor video making abilities. Oh yeah, and the little gimmicks that come with your 3DS, the Me Plaza, looks like a portable Wii to me. Really now? If the Mii Plaza is a bad thing, then what do you call the PlayStation Home? Which is basically the exact same thing. And even the, whatever the avatar thing on Xbox Live was. Because now you're just sounding like a major hypocrite for downing the Mii Plaza on the 3DS and not downing the PlayStation Home on the PS3. And a portable Wii, um, isn't that what the 3DS is? Because it's basically as powerful if not more and I think it's more powerful than the Wii. I don't know about you, but that's not that's not cool, dude. Okay, if using something that's on the other two consoles is not cool, then what do you call using the Wii's motion control, basically taking the Wii remote and then painting and then changing it around and calling it the PlayStation Move. What do you call that then? Me Plaza. We don't want another Wii. Wii was already a big fail. Yes, because a system that was deemed the best-selling console in history and even beat out the NES is a failure. And the 3DS has all these baby games. Now when I hear the term baby game from any gaming fanboy, a lot of things can go in this direction though, but seeing how I don't know what he means by this, I'm assuming he means E-rated games. Because, like most hardcore game, quote unquote hardcore gamers say, is that E rating, the E rating makes it a baby game. When it, last time I checked, it meant E for everyone. Because other than that, I don't see any ba really any baby games on the 3DS. It's the only baby game I think of is Nintendo Dogs and Cats, and like I said, that's an all ages game. So, what do you mean? I mean the PSP 2 is getting resistance, little big planet. Okay, stop right there. Seeing how I'm assuming when you say baby game you mean E-rated games though, so you just contradicted yourself badly by listing Little Big Planet among the games that are on the PSP2 because last time I checked it was an E-rated game. And even so, a game where you play as a little plush doll doesn't necessarily scream hardcore gaming to me. You know, all these Uncharted, like, uh, like, and, 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 get to the point! And the PSP2 has a better touch screen. You know what I'm saying? Because with the DS, you have to use that stylus, or else it wouldn't register. It would have to, well, with the PSP2, you can just touch it, you know? Okay, that just shows his complete lack of knowledge right there, because ever since the first DS, you could use a stylus and your fingertips. But the reason why most people with a DS use a stylus is because one, it's more precise because there's only one point of contact on the screen. And two, most people don't want fingerprints all over the touchscreen, which dirties it up. So, yeah. So unless you want your PSP2 screen to be completely dirtied up, which might ruin the uh, HD graphics you mentioned before, you might want to use a stylus. Or at least a screen guard. You know, like a touch your mom at night. <laughs> uh, not even a face palm can describe how bad a joke that was, because that was just so bad, he really did not need to say that in the video at all. <laughs> and the PSP2 has a trackpad on the back of it, so you can just, like, do stuff. There's actually a lot of things I have to say about this. One, aren't trackpads usually supposed to go on the front of the console? But other than that, this whole trackpad on the back of the system interests me. Be but I also have kind of mixed feelings about it. For a few different reasons though, because one, 
I'd hate to say it, but Sony usually isn't the company with the track record to make stuff and actually succeed with it because we all remember the iToy and the PSP camera. Those didn't re for the PS2 and the uh, the iToy for the PS2 and the and the camera for the PSP. Those really didn't work out too well. Hate to say it, but Nintendo is usually the first company to make something like that and then actually succeed with it. Then Sony comes in and usually makes it more precise, like the PlayStation Move, which has a more precise motion control. So. Like I said, I have mixed feelings about this trackpad thing. I don't know. I, I, I haven't played the NGP yet because it's not out yet, but I'd like to see how Sony can take this. Hopefully it might end up pretty well, unlike other add-ons they've done. I don't know how it's going to work. I'd kind of like to refer back to my Zamato Elite commentary I did. If you don't know how something's going to work out, you really shouldn't mention it as a point of superiority to something. I bet the PSP2 is going to be cheaper, actually, than 3DS, because 3DS is looking to be 250 I bet Sony's learned from their mistakes of overpricing their stuff. I bet it's going to be 220 at the most. Really? He, you think that the NGP is going to be cheaper than the 3DS with the amount of hardware and how powerful the system is supposed to be? It's supposed to be a phone, for God's sake. So I highly doubt it's going to be cheaper than the 3DS, which is $250. And I have no clue how, how you're so specific with $220. And so 300 minimum, because there's the hardware, and then there's the fact that, yes, Sony overprices their products way too much. Because I had to buy a camera charger once, and it cost me 70 bucks. It basically ended up, me, ended up with me throwing out an entire paycheck. So I think that just shows that... I, it's, I highly doubt the, the PSP2 is going to be cheaper than the 3DS. Because Sony's pretty smart. Yes, because obviously filing for bankruptcy a second time in about the same year shows that you're a smart company. And the 3D on the 3DS, I mean, I've heard lots of people just talk about it and say, it doesn't work well when you move it, like, a little bit. I mean, what if you had some, one of your buddies watching you play? I'm That's kind of why it's called a portable system. It's really meant for single use. It, all portable systems really aren't meant for multiple people to look at the same screen. And about the 3D, the 3D, that's why there's that dial that changes the 3D, so... Essentially, the 3D, unlike 3D on, on the PS3, the 3D on the 3DS can be changed to fit people's different eyesights. That wouldn't be tight, you know what I'm saying? Because it wouldn't work. And that wouldn't be cool. And if, especially if they're going to have 3D movies. I mean, I would want to watch that with my girl or something. Watch out, girls. Fanboy actually thinks he's a player. And that's coming from a raging otaku. You know? And I can't do that. Like I said, it's a portable system. I really don't understand why would you want to watch movies with someone else on a 5-inch screen, because that's what TVs are built for. So if you want to watch a movie, just pop the DVD in the DVD player, for God's sake. You know, and have you seen the 3DS battery life? Three to five hours. How ridiculous is that? Okay, it's a little short, but to be fairly honest, though, it, that's pretty good for a portable system, though. Especially with some other portable systems out there. I mean, sure, it'll probably never top Apple's battery life because the iPad can last for probably days without needing to be charged. But the point still stands. Three to five hours. <laughs> then you have to put it in that gay little cradle. The baby cradle for your baby system. Again, with more hypocrisy. So... A, a charge dock on the 3DS is gay slash childish, yet how many other portables have charging docks? There's virtually all of Apple's products, the iPod Touch, the normal iPods, and the iPhone, even the iPad. And um, last time I checked, oh yeah, the PSP Go has a charging dock. So you seriously contradicted yourself right there. Again, with more long pausing. Seriously, next time, just write a script. It makes things a lot easier than you having to keep losing your track of mind because it's really just boring me to tears. Why else is the PSP 2 better? Like I said, basically bored to death.
So, honestly, there's probably nothing else that this kid is going to say that actually makes sense. Oh, and the 3DS. They haven't said anything about the sound quality. I mean, I bet the PSP, they, they're saying it has the same sound quality as, like, a TV or something, you know? You're actually using that as a bad thing? Have you heard the sound quality on some TVs? I've been around sound systems all my life, and I know that if, you're a, portal if a portable console has a sound quality of a TV, that's actually pretty good. Sure, it depends on the TV, though, but still. Not to mention, the sound quality on some of the, on like the DSi was pretty good. I mean, compared to the DS lights. So, honestly, you really shouldn't have said that, because it's just, it just failed. Yeah, and the camera quality is probably going to be better with the PSP2. First off, all I can say is it better be better on the PSP2 because that cam the camera that the original PSP you could attach kind of sucked. And, um, oh yeah, with the camera on the 3DS, it's a 3D camera. So right there, that's a selling point because the new a lot of new 3D vi video and normal cameras or max over four, three hundred, four hundred dollars. While the 3DS is still two hundred and fifty. So there's going to be some people out there that'll just buy the 3DS just for the 3D camera. It's got an inner camera. I think it's got an outer camera, but I'm not sure. You're not sure. Well, just an inner camera would work with online gaming, maybe. But since the um, three, the DSi and the 3DS have outer cameras. It would kind of make sense that the NGP has an outer camera because that way you can actually see what the hell you're taking a picture of with the help of the screen. But yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Because. Yeah. We'll, we'll just see which one wins because it's gonna be a slaughterhouse. And peace out, people. So finally, we're done with that, and that last quote, it's gonna be a slaughter, um, yeah, tough talk from a fanboy of a console that hasn't even been released yet. So yeah, as you can see, that this kid is basically like a smaller, prepubescent version of Zamato Elite, though, in terms of his logic and video quality. So, I can't... I can't drag this this video out, out any longer, though, but like I said, as a shout-out, though, Zelda fanboy, uh... Thanks for giving me this video though, because it was quite fun watching the failure and other people commentating on it. Because I've watched a few other commentaries and this kid is trying to act like internet tough guy though with um, most of the people commentating on him. And I know he made a second video, uh, a second part of this, so I'm probably going to commentate on this one. So look for it because this was just too fun. And so I'm SSJ Starbox, and I'll see you later.